side is 20 guys on this side and 20 guys on that side. On that side. And then you get you just get punched, kicked. You gotta walk the line twice. And there's 40 guys and you just all you gotta do is take it, you guys. And if you don't take it, man, you get whipped on nasty. Last we had a brother one time. We had to throw his ass in the river over here because he was just tricking on the police on everything we were doing. Yeah, when you get initiated, you walk the line twice. That's if they want you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ways you can get beat. See, you can get you can get branded too. You're supposed to really get branded. What? You get a crown put on there or a future stone put on there. The branded yeah. is a tattoo? A tattoo. Like all these peewees right here you see, by next week they shall all be branded. That's a law. Regardless of anything. That's, that's the law. law of the nation? Yeah. And Not then it means that you're a king. You and you're brothers. You consider yourself brothers. No matter what happens or what money you guys love, you guys are brothers. You guys can run on each other. You guys can be dissing nobody. I mean, you guys look out for each other. Anytime any brother's getting smashed, even though if you're with your mother, you got to help out this brother. There's no reason about that. And the brother's departing, he's going somewhere else. We always shake their hands, give them peace, and tell them, man, brother, I'm off. Last time we were watching through here, Dwight, there was a royal that was passing through here and he got thrown out for this bridge. <laughs> we threw his ass off. Right here? Yeah. We took off his clothes and everything. We were walking through here. We dragged him over there. We threw him by the falls. You can't walk in this river in the night, bro. You get yanked. See, right here, this is how Queens did that. Our land Queens did all this. This is a long time ago when we had Queens, because we don't got Queens anymore. No right here is when we come in here and we do our wall. We have a wall over here for Negro when he got killed. The peewees made a while for him. But here's where everybody gets together. This shit is heavy, bro. But you gotta watch out because you can get killed in this river too. Folks be in here sometimes. Hey, yeah. sometimes yeah. yeah. Do they splash, know splash, splash. Yeah, they know wall. we hang down here. Oh. So they come over here too. They hit our walls. They start riding all over our walls. See right there, we got Negro right there, rest in peace. <clears throat> right here's where we have our meetings too. The police, I was walking on the street with my girlfriend and um, Negro was already dead and then they go, they were all cruising through there and he, the two cars got out and then they started whipping on me and they started beating the shit out of us for nothing. And then, then we go, why you beat our ass? And then they go, cause you guys are spigs. And they started whipping our ass. All right, this was a stone brother. He wasn't a Latin King, he was a stone. Now he killed, he got killed. He got shot in the head and in the heart I think once. Now this Wait. brother killed it, he got, he, he jumped in the gun for another young blood. Cause he was 19 years old, so he jumped in front of the gun for a king brother. So this brother, you gotta give him a lot of respect too because he went down for himself. He knew it was gonna go up. He was crazy too, he used to be on, out on the streets on below zero Dwight, with a little shirt and a sweater, game banging. He got, he used to fight like 18 of them motherfuckers by himself. And he never used to get whooped. And he was a white boy. He was a crazy ass white boy. That's the crazy ass white boy we had in the neighborhood. Well, gangs are, I would say, the same as there are uh, approximately anywhere in a, in a large metropolitan area. It's something. It's a. It's a, a thing at a times. You no, know, just a lot of gangs hanging out here. We'd call the police, and it would be uh, noisy. The graffiti. Well, they. They got it all over the buildings and they, they spray up the trucks, whatever. Whatever they can get their hands on or the spray cane they have, you know. I'm not afraid. Yes, I'm the block belt also. It's not help. Sometimes a lot of gang, I need this. It's not too much. A lot of gang is over this area. Then policemen, thanks to our police government, they control that gang, you know. I got, a pro I got some problems in there for the gang's members. And about a week ago, I got shot, uh, shot and missed me. Yeah, there's gains, yeah. There's just a few gains, but that's not bad. And as far as uh, you can leave your back door open and sleep all night long if you wish. I work at 7-Eleven down on Montrose, and I know a lot of them. They're nice kids, but they're in the game. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, they buy from me, but they're just in games. And uh, this is what's taking over, you know, you can't help those things. People are moving in, and the neighborhood has changed. It's not strictly a Jewish neighborhood like it used to be. Uh, this is Mr. Higgins uh, of Assyrian. And this is uh, Mr. Schlimon. And this, this is Mr. Yonan. And this is Mr. Manu. Champion of the player, Mr. Schlimon. For Choki. See? He's bad, because he's winning. Let's go! They're gonna fight now. This American neighborhood that we live in is a melting pot. It's from everybody. And if we work together, play together, we got something. This is a polyglot neighborhood. It's made up of every ethnic group that you can think of that comes into our communities. And it's like a lovely mixed bouquet of flowers. And we love it. Each one contributes something to the community. And thanks to America, first of all. And American, American people, they open up, open door to us, coming refugees over here. We make a new, a new, you know, life and a new future. And I had been faced with so much prejudice in the other parts of the city and the other states I was in that coming here it seems like um, was more or less the melting pot. There's so many different cultures and everybody, you know, just get along, try to help each other. Well, I'm from Bangladesh. I'm Romanian. And I was born in Israel. We have Chinese, people from Thailand, African, African Americans. India, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Vietnam, Palestinians. The Jewish and the Korean. Cambodians, Laotians, Greek, Italian, Lebanese, uh, Spanish, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cubans. Just about anything that's spoken in the city of Chicago, even sign language. This is what's happening on Lawrence Avenue. So you're starting a Kool-Aid shop? Yeah. Where are you going to have it? How long have you lived around here? Nine years. So you're about 11, 12? Chicago's Albany Park neighborhood is a mosaic of nationalities that is overlaid with another map of gang nations. Street gangs are organized around turf, more than by race or ethnicity. If the neighborhood is diverse, oh, oh, then the gang will be mixed, uh -huh. even if it is called the Latin King Nation. <laughs> what is it, Frog? I had a dream. Somebody was beaten up on me. It was a nightmare. <laughs> what? What? Oh, your, your plants, they grew. You know something, Frog? They're beautiful. Grow, seeds, grow, seeds, grow. Grow, seeds, grow, seeds, grow. Grow, seeds, grow, seeds, grow.